Welcome back to another session of learning the chapter, the demographic structure of the Indian society. In the last session, we were dealing with some of the topics included in the page number 10 of learning the chapter, the demographic structure of the Indian society. Today, I wanted to continue with the, th the same chapter. Let us open the book, take the page number 10. There we can see the last paragraph, the first point, demographic data. What do you mean by demographic data? Demographic data means the quantitative data which can be collected by means of survey or census. Data includes death rate, birth rate, infant mortality rate, maternal mortality rate, etc. These are the important data which can be collected together and so it forms the demographic data. The first point is that what is the function of demographic data? As I told you, demographic data includes birth rate, birth rate, etc. It will really help the government to make some policies and also it can make them to convert those policies into practice. This is the real function of demographic data. On the basis of demographic data, a state can make some policies and also the state can implement the policies by converting the planning into practice. This is the function of demographic data. Next point is, what is the relationship between the social statistics and sociology? There is a, a relationship between sociology and social statistics. As we all know that sociology is the scientific study of society. Social statistics includes the data which can be collected from society in the form of birth rate, death rate, maternal mortality rate, infant mortality rate, suicide rate. These are social statistics and sociology studies society in a scientific way. Really the statistics will help sociology because by the help of the statistics, sociology can do its function in a better way. That is why both are connected each other. Next point is that what is the meaning of aggregate statistics? Aggregate statistics means or implies the quantitative statistics or quantitative data which has some functions to society. What is the function of aggregate statistics to society? Because this statistics is taken from the society in the form of data. By means of such data, the government can make some policies, can plan some policies. On the basis of that, the government can bring some changes to the society. If the death, death rate is increased, if the birth rate is increasing, the government can plan some policies to stop that. If the infant mortality rate is increasing, the government can make some planning so it will bring social changes. This is all about the function of aggregate statistics. Next point, what is the meaning of death rate and what is the meaning of birth rate? Death rate means the number of total death per thousand population in a given area at a a particular point of time and birth rate means 
the number of birth per thousand population at a particular period of time and this is all about the death rate and birth rate death rate and birth rate has some functions with regard to social statistics because death rate and birth rate are including or included in the list of social statistics by means of such statistics as i told you earlier the government can practice its administration in a meaningful way so birth rate and death rate are social statistics which have some functions to be done next last point in, in this paragraph is emily derkin the famous sociologist he talks about the suicide rate previous point we were discussing death rate and birth rate emily derkin and the famous sociologist he talks about suicide rate suicide rate means the number of suicides per 1 lakh population the number of suicide taken per 1 lakh population what is the importance of collecting this data emily derkin says that when we collect this kind of data it will really help a state to make some policies to plan some policies and also implement the policies into practice by analyzing the causes of suicide what are the causes of suicide why the individuals are taking their life and what is the social issue behind that what is the individual issue behind that in such a way the suicide will the suicide rate will really help the sociologists as well as the state to make some planning and also bring some conclusions also wanted to solve the problem this is all about this paragraph in this paragraph we were talking about the functions of demographic data next the importance between sociology and social statistics then the aggregate statistics then birth rate birth rate its importance then last point suicide rate given by emily darke and its importance as a social statistics then next point we can turn the page we can take the paragraph next paragraph we can take in the page number 12 and there we can see the difference what are the differences between formal demography and social demography in the previous class already we mentioned about formal demography and social demography there we have mentioned that formal demography deals with the quantitative data i think that all are remembering that and social demography deals with the economic political aspects of population here we can study the formal and demo, uh, so formal demography and social demography in a wider way formal demography gives importance to measurement and analysis of population change once again i wanted to tell you that formal demography gives importance to measurement and analysis of population change in a simple way i wanted to tell you that formal demography deals with the quantitative data the statistics and it studies about how population change occurs in our society it takes the measurement it takes the number it gives importance to quantitative data at the same time it analyzes about 
the population change. This is all about the function of formal demography. Then, next function is that, as I gave, uh, given you already, it deals with the quantitative data, number. It gives importance to the numbers in uh, social statistics. It means birth rate, number is there, death rate, particular number is there. So, so a formal demography gives importance to such specific numbers and it also uses mathematical methodology and also it predicts the population growth. This is another function of formal demography because it uses the help of mathematical methodology for collecting the data, for analyzing the data, we need to apply mathematics to the social data. It, it also predicts the growth of population in the future. What will be the what percentage will be the growth of population in the future by analyzing the present data? This is all about the function of formal demography. Now we can move to the function of social demography. Social demography has wider function. It has a rather function than that of formal demography. What is the wider function of or deeper function of social demography? Because it studies the cause of structure and changing population. It studies the reason behind the structure and the change in population. And also it studies the consequences of structure and change in population. Structure means what there is a structure in our society. Age groups are there. Our society is divided on the basis of different age groups. So social demography studies the reason and consequences of structure and change in our population. Then, what about social demographics? This is the last point in this paragraph. Social demographics, they are talking about the social process and its importance to demographic process. In another way, I wanted to tell you that they talk about the social change for population increase and decrease. There is a connection between social process and the demographic data. The people, they are, if they are delivering their duties in a proper way with regard to the demographic data, everything will be moving in a smooth way. With regard to the birth rate, the government wanted to apply some control over the birth rate. Because if birth rate is increasing, it will affect our economic development. And also government planning to stop the, what we can say, uh, death rate. We know that nowadays medical care is more alert and food supply given by the government also sanitation works done by the government all these things are going in a smooth way because all the in all these ways we can control the death rate so there is a social process for the increase and the decrease in population growth this is all about the today's session in this session we will uh, studying the demographic data functions and formal demography and social demography. I really thank my dear students for listening to me and comprehending me. I request all my dear students to read these paragraphs. Before the conclusion, I wanted to give some questions to be answered. You can write the question.
please write the question. First question. Now I am considering the page number 10. Please take the page and I want to give you some of the questions to be answered. First question. What is the connection between demography and sociology? What is the connection between demography and sociology? Next point. Define demography. Define demography. And how is the word derived? And how is the word derived? Next point. What are the functions of demography? What are the functions of demography? Next question. What is the function of census? What is the function of census? And talk about and write about Indian census. And write about Indian census. Next one. What are the functions of demographic data? What are the functions of demographic data? Next, give meaning to the term death rate, birth rate and suicide rate. Give meaning to the terms birth rate, death rate and suicide rate. Last question. Give distinctions between Give distinction between formal demography and social demography. Give distinction between formal demography and social demography. Once again, I request all my dear students to read these paragraphs. This chapter is very important. And read every line, every sentence. And also, listen to me carefully. And make your own notes on the basis of the points I am telling. You can easily make your study purposeful and meaningful. May God proceed. Thank you.